Hello. And we're back with another episode of Tuesday Night Smackdown Recap. Yes. And, of course, it started with Dana Bryan by the concession stands just, like, saying, of course, everybody's AJ Styles, and they're always, like, always voting for Styles and whatnot. And he stole someone's hot dog and threw him in his face, then took someone's soda, threw him in their face, then started wrecking havoc at the... Um, merchandise stands. Yeah, the saying. But like he's like he asked. He's like, may I have a yes movement T-shirt? Oh, that's right. There is no more. Then he's saying all this garbage AJ Styles merchandise, and the scene's all garbage. Then he goes into the audience and walks all the way down, calling ev- uh, calling everybody impudent yeah. and all that. Yeah. Then AJ Styles just comes out and attacks him. Yep. And then... No! No! It wasn't AJ Styles, it was R-Truth. <laughs> I, ju- I got that confused. You actually, you actually said it too early. Oh yeah, spoilers. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! But you already know, it was... But R-Truth came in and attacked Brian. Then that became a match and it... Was uh, R-Truth versus Dana Brian. And then, let's see, Daniel Bryan won with a really knee to the face, which was a quick thing. And then Styles comes out and attacks him. So, technically, I was right because that match was over so fast that you don't even know what happened. So, I was right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> then, the next match, Bobby. Your match, Justin. Oh, my match. Rey Mysterio and Mustafa Ali. Yes, Mustafa. I love Mustafa. Versus okay. Samoa Joe and Cien Omas. Yeah, I gotta use Missy's word. Flubba Bubba, Samoa Joe. No! No Flubba Bubba. <laughs> no Flubba Bubba. Well, Not the Flubba Bubba, Samoa Moa. Well... Well, either way, that was a very, that was a very intense match with high stakes and high flying super, uh, techniques. Yeah, 619s and Mustafa's all these 450 and over the top rope and whatnot, but mm. at the end, Samoa Joe and Cien almost won. Yeah, but that was fun. That was cool seeing Rey Mysterio gonna try to give Cien almost the six one nine. Cien almost counters it, puts it into a, a gut buster, and then into the headlock DDT. Yeah, and that's what caused, and that's what won the match. Yep. That was that was that, I was, that was a good match. That was a good match. Then let's see. And then there was um the Rusev thing. Ru- yeah, Rusev. Because last week Rusev and Lana were celebrating their United States win, and then Nakamura atta- uh, attacks Rusev from behind, but sh- but um Lana was on the back of Nakamura, and Rusev kicks Nakamura, which injures um Lana. Yeah, because Nakamura was saying it wasn't my fault. It was, was your fault, Rusev. And then yeah, and he had the evidence because he was sitting in the technical truck. And Rusev was like, "Fine, you won't come to me. I'll come to you." And they end up fighting backstage. Well, let's see. He Rusev co- goes backstage, asks, "Where's the truck?" And then out of nowhere, we see a rolling box that's been pushed by Nakamura, and he just keeps running Rusev over with that box. And then he's saying he wants his title back. And then the security people show up and they take Nakamura away. And then Nakamura runs back with a running knee and knocks Rusev down on his ass. Yeah. It was just, it was crazy. So we're going to see... We're pretty much going to see them two again in a match. Either probably... next week or the Royal Rumble. Either... Oh, but... Wherever it is, if Rusev wins, it'll be Rusev Day. Rusev Day! But anyway, next match was... Well, before the match, we saw Shane and uh, The Miz talk about their tag team. And Shane's saying they should wait before they actually go try to challenge any t- for any titles. Yeah. And then it went to the next match, which was a tag team. If the Usos win, they get a title shot. So it's Cesaro and Sheamus, the bar... Versus the Usos. Which was really... Which was a good match. It was a good match until, like, the end with Mandy Rose. Oh, yeah. Jay was going to get tagged in, and then Mandy Rose shows up the, just in a white towel, and uh, 
Yeah, she's Slippers. like... She's like, Jimmy, did I forget my gold... Small. Small. Or is it tiny? Or tiny or whatever. I don't pay attention to me because I don't like her. Tiny bra and tiny, and tiny tights. In your hotel room and laughs and then end up being a neutralizer for the win. Yeah. Watch what happens backstage. Yeah. Oh, she got she got hers from Naomi. She shows up. She's dressed in yellow. She starts attacking her. Sonya Deville is right there, and she goes, "I'll take the both of you." And you just see, yep. dirt, 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 just just slapping and fightings, and then Naomi gets knocked down. You see Jay going, Jimmy, Jim, Jim. I can't tell. They're twins. I can't Jimmy. tell. I can't help it. Yeah. He comes out and it breaks up the fight. So. We're gonna see a match next week. You're probably gonna, yeah. You're definitely gonna see like probably maybe a mixed tag team match with them. A or, mixed tag, well, or it... a regular girl match. All right, let's see. We had Sony Deville right there. We had Mandy Rose, and then we had Naomi. Now, who has a bone to pick with Sony Deville? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know because no one's ever brought up her character. I want to see Naomi. Fight both of them at the same time. It could be a handicap match. That'd be fun. And then Miz came out, and he's just saying about he cha- he challenges the bar for their titles. And Cesaro's like, "Let me talk it over with my partner." Bro kick. <laughs> we accept. Yeah. And then Shane's like, "Are you crazy? I hope you know what you're doing." Yeah. Oh, well, you think we can win? And then Miz is like, I know we can win. So, we'll, we'll see if they can win it at the Rumble. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Why make us wait? What about next week they actually fight at least one tag team and not nobody's? Someone good. Uh, that's nobody. They do what they want. Well, Shane's a McMahon, so whatever. The main event. Carmella versus Charlotte versus Becky Pretty Lynch. Much. Winner faces Asuka mm-hmm. at... The Royal Rumble, and I called this right before before the match even started. Who did you want? You thought it was Charlotte. No, I didn't say who. You I said, you I said, said Charlotte's you, probably gonna win. Yeah, and I said Becky. I knew Carmella was a win because she's number thirty in the Rumble. I knew Carmella was a so win. by by dedu- by doing our deductive skills, Becky Lynch won. Yep. Um, with like five minutes. Okay, it was like. Five minutes left, like, Becky Lynch did, like, a Bex... Bexplosion on the floor. To Mella on the floor. The Charlotte booted Becky to make her not go in the ring. And then quick pinned Charlotte by Carmella. And then, um, then they were all, like, by the turnbuckle. And then natural selection to Becky Lynch. And then Carmella tried to steal the pin... Charles like, nah, not gonna happen. And then, um, Carmella t- tosses um Charlotte out of the ring, and then she tries to pin Becky, and then Becky reverses it and does the arm bar. Yeah, you went. There was a figure eight to Mella, and then Becky put the disarm on Charlotte. Charlotte Carmella stopped it, speared to Becky, and then Mella kicked. Charlotte, and then disarm her on Carmella, and made Carmella tap. Yeah. And then after the match, out comes Asuka, showing up to the ring, and holds up her title, and say, going, you ain't ready for me. Yeah. Pretty much ended like that. So we're going to see a face-to-face probably next Tuesday. You're probably going to be like, yeah, like they always do, face-to-face. But, mm. um. Oh, you dropped your pen. Yeah, but um, how did you enjoy SmackDown? Did you like it? Did you watch it? Um, what was your favorite match? Do you think Miz and Shane's gonna be win the best tag team in the world at Rumble? Do you want Asuka or Becky to win at Rumble? Um, do you want Rusev or Nakamura to win? Yeah, I want Rusev Day. Um. Nothing else, really. Pretty much. Well, oh, Dan Bryan and Styles. Who do you want to point out them? 
of course, Styles, <laughs> and... Well, he's the new Daniel Bryan. We don't know what he's capable of. He'll probably still keep it. I mean, he just got the title, so he'll probably have it for a while. Then we have Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman, and I have a feeling that Braun Strowman's losing. They're probably never going to give him Braun Strowman that title shot. Because Braun Strowman will fucking dominate everybody. Which they should just get, let him have it. No, because this is what they want to sell. Who would be the person to topple Braun Strowman? There's barely anybody in the... Well, Braun, if they get let Braun Strowman win, uh, win the matches or let him beat Braun Strowman, then Strowman will be in an undefeated streak all the way to WrestleMania. Which is probably what's going to happen. But then again, here's the thing. This is what I think. If Strowman wins at the Royal Rumble, he's going to keep winning till WrestleMania, which then hopefully... Or some people are going to be pissed at this. Roman Reigns makes his return and challenges Strowman for that title. Yeah. Which he never lost. And he will definitely, which, and if he's 100%, he has the right to have his rematch. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, but you never know what they're be nowadays. You know what they're doing. Well, we already know Vince has a hard on for Roman Reigns and he's like, uh, give him the opportunity. Uh, put him well, remember, over everybody. Roman never actually lost that universal title, so he's he gets that shot. So I already said that. So it, it's no one can get mad that Roman's gonna go for that title because he never lost it. He had to give it up. So oh yeah, can't get mad if he goes for that title. Like for example, my dad. He can't get mad if Roman goes right for the title. You can't. He but never. But your dad could get, but your dad could get mad at Rey Mysterio returning, or um, but Batista coming back, winning the Royal Rumble and everything. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, he didn't get mad as Pickle Boy did when Batista won the Royal Rumble. Yeah, he was close, but he didn't flip out. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this uh, recap. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.